Good morning. Welcome back to my Learn with Tom Lee. Today, I will teach you how to use the solvers of the Excel to solve a linear equation system. So what is a linear equation system? If you have a business scenario just like this, the BDC Furniture Company Limited like to produce three types of table. The glass table, wooden table, and console table and it's one to maximize the profits of this production from the production line. However, there are some condition or some limitation that have to be fulfilled before the production can be done. Some of the constraint is in here and here. So I will teach you how to solve this business problem with Excel software. And after we using the Excel software, we can just click on the data tab and solve and then we click solve it will return the solutions of the problem we click ok in here you can see that with the production slide we want to create 17 glass table 20 wooden table and 24 console table we have a total profit of 1678 so how can we do this in this lesson i will show you the step-by-step -step process to solve the problem by the Excel software. And besides that, from now on, I will teach these tutorials in English version and Cantonese version. If you want to see the Cantonese version, you can go to the type in here. Okay, let's start the tutorial by going into the detail of the question. In this business scenario, the DBC Furniture Company Limited likes to produce three types of tables glass table, wooden tables, and console table. It wants to maximize the profit from the production line. However, there are some condition or request limitation that have to be fulfilled before the production can be done. If it want to create one glass table, it needs eight hours of labor, eight kilograms of wood, five kilograms of glass, and zero kilograms of iron. 5 hours of wood preparing machine, 5 hours of glass preparing machine, and 0 hours of iron preparing machine. That means there are 3 kinds of machine prepare the wood, the glass, and the iron for the table. And the cost of one glass table is $30. And the price of one glass table is $60. That means it will get a profit of $30 if it produces one glass table. For the wooden table, it needs 4 labor hours, 12 kilograms of wood, 0 kilograms of glass, and 0 kilograms of iron. 12 hours of wood preparing machine, 0 hours of glass preparing machine, and 0 hours of iron preparing machine. And the cost of one wooden table is about $25, and the price would be $45. That means it has a profit of $20 for the wooden table. For the console table, or we call it the iron table, I call it back to console table, it needs 12 labor hours, 5 kilograms of wood, 2 kilograms of glass, and 4 kilograms of iron. 3.5 hours of wood preparing machine, 3.5 hours of glass preparing machine, and 5 hours of iron preparing machine. And the cost of one console table is $35. Price of one console table is $67. That means the profit would be $32. This is the materials and the labor hours, the machine hour for the console table, wooden table, and the glass table. And the materials, labor, and machine type are variable. Now, the company has 600 labor hours, 500 kilograms of wood in stock, 220 kilograms of glass in stock, 100 kilograms of iron in stock. 600 hours of wood preparing machine are variable, 700 hours of glass preparing machine are variable, and 200 hours of iron preparing machine are variable. And now we have the problem. First, we try to formulate a linear equation system for the above scenario. Second, we set up the equation system into Excel worksheet. Third, using the Excel software add-in. Software is an add-in. We're using it to generate the maximum profit solution. Four, if the client needs at least three console table, 20 wooden table, and 10 glass tables. That means a new constraint 
is act to the problem. We try to regenerate the maximum profit to see if the solution is different from that. So in the next session, I will teach you how to solve these four problems step by step. Now in this section, we try to formulate a linear equation system for the above scenarios. So we let gt to be the numbers of glass table created. Let wt be the numbers of wooden table created. And ct be the numbers of console table created. And let l be the numbers of hours we need to create the table, G be the kilogram of glass we need to create the table, W be the kilogram of wood we need to create the table, and I be the kilogram of iron we need to create the table, GM be the hours of glass preparing machine needed, WM be the hours of wooden preparing machine needed, and IM be the hours of iron preparing machine needed. From the above, we can formulate the equation, so if we want to create one glass table. We need 8 labor hours, so 8 hours. This is how we create one glass table. We need 8 hours of labor, 8 kilograms of wood, 5 kilograms of glass, and 0 kilograms of iron. So we get this formula. 8 labor hours, 8 kilograms of wood, 5 kilograms of glass, and 0 kilograms of iron. 5 hours of wooden preparing machine, 5 hours of glass preparing machine, 0 hours of iron preparing machine. This is the formulas of create one glass table. And the formulas of create one wooden table is 4 hours of labor, 12 kilogram of wood, 0 kilogram of glass, 0 kilogram of iron. Charles wood preparing machine, 0 hours of glass preparing machine and 0 hours of iron preparing machine. For one console table, we need 12 hours of labor, 5 kilograms of wood, 2 kilograms of glass, and 4 kilograms of iron. 3.5 hours of wooden machine, 3.5 hours of glass machine, and 5 hours of iron machine. We can formulate these three equations for the glass table, wooden table, and the console table. Then we continue. This is the limitation we have. The labor available, we let it be LA is 600 hours. Wood in stock, WIS, 500 kilogram. Glass in stock, 220 kilogram. Iron in stock, 100 kilograms. And the wood preparing machine available, we call it WA, 600 hours. Glass machine available 700 hours and iron machine available 200 hours. From the above three equations, we can formulate another set of inequality. This is the 8 labor hours, 4 labor hours, and 12 labor hours. If we want to create how many glass table, wooden table, and console table. So we get the formula is 8 labor hours multiplied by how many, this question mark is how many glass table we want to create, and 4 labor hours multiplied by how many wooden table we want to create, and 12 labor hours multiplied by how many iron table, console table we want to create. This value have to be less than or equal to 600 hours of labor available. So if this value is over 600 hours, that means the solution is invisible. So by this logic, we can formulate other inequalities of the wood we need. How many kilograms? 500 kilograms. And XW multiplied by how many GT? 12W multiplied by how many WT? And 5W multiplied by how many IT created. So we got all together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 inequality in here. This is what we need for the formulas of the Excel software table. Then we go to the next section, how we can put this inequality into the Excel worksheet. Okay, for this section, we try to set up the equation system into the Excel worksheet. You can open a brand new Excel files or open the file maximum profits 
star.xlsx from the link I provide here or I provide standards in the comment section and set up the relay cell to store the information of the inequality and the linear equation. So I open this file. This file has two worksheets and I have typed in all the value here. For the GT is the number of glass table you create. For example, if I want to create one glass table, I type in one here. And one wooden table, I type in one here. And one console table, I type in one in here. For one glass table, I need X hours of labor, X kilogram of wood, five kilogram of glass, and zero kilogram of iron. For the wood preparing machine, I need five hours. For the glass preparing machine, I need five hours as well. And for the iron preparing machine, I don't need any hours. For one wooden table, four labor hours I need. 12 kilograms of wood I need. Zero kilogram of glass and zero kilograms of iron. Glass preparing machine, zero. Iron preparing machine, zero. And wood preparing machine, I need 12 hours. For one console table, I need 12 hours of labor, 5 kilograms of wood, 2 kilograms of glass, and 4 kilograms of iron. Wood preparing machine, I need 3.5. Glass preparing machine, I need 3.5. And iron preparing machine, I need 5 hours. I got all this value here to create one glass table, one wooden table, or one console table. For the cost of one glass table, I have $30. And for the cost of one wooden table, I need $25. For the cost of one console table, I need $35. And the price of one glass table, I have $60. Wooden tables, $45. And for the price of iron table or the console table, $67. And here, if I want to calculate the profits of one glass table, I put in the equation equal to this value, the price minus the cost, and press enter. I got $30 of profit. I drag it down to copy. So for one wooden table, I have $20 of profit. For one console table, I have $32 of profit. And in here is the labor hours column string wood in stock glass in stock, iron in stock, machine available, wood machine available, glass machine available, and the iron machine available. I put all these value in. These values you can find it from here. 600, 500, 220, 100, etc. So I put the value 600, 500, 220, 100, 600, 700, and 200. Okay, and now I calculate this value here. How can I calculate these values? For example, if I have one glass table, one wooden table, and one console table, one glass table, I need eight hours. One wooden table, I need four hours. And one console table, I need 12 hours. This equation also can be get from this inequality. This will be less than the values of 600 hours. So I put the value in the Excel. In here, I type in the equation. It's equal to this value, C4, multiplied by X labor hours, C6, plus F4, multiplied by F6, plus I4, multiplied by I6. This is the labor hours I need to create one glass table, one wood table and one console table. If I want to create 10 console table, I need 132 labor hours and etc. So this is the equation I type in to calculate. In here, if you want to create one of each of the table, so you get this value, copy down the equation, you copy down and you get zero, you get 64 and etc. But when you copy the equation down, you have to lock some value in here because this one is how many glass table, how many wooden table, and how many console table. This fee cell is a most important cell, so you have to make it absolute value. So I press in this cell here, press F2, and 
change this C4 into absolute value, dollar $C, dollar $4. I press F4 here, I change this to dollar $C, dollar $4, and this one as well, dollar $F, dollar $4, and this one, dollar $I, dollar $4. Now, I drag the equation down, and all it will be fit. So if I want to create one class table, one wooden table, and one console table, I need 24 hours of labor, 25 kilograms of wood, 7 kilograms of glass, and 4 kilograms of iron, 20.5 wood preparing machine, 8.5 hours of glass preparing machine, and 5 hours of iron preparing machine. And this value here is always less than or equal to the maximum values we have for the limitation. Okay, in the profit here, the total profit is the equation that we want to add these three values, and these three values is multiplied by the profit. For example, I create one glass table, I should have $30, so I put the equation is equal to one glass table, multiply by the profits of one class table. So C4 multiplied by I22. And also the wooden table, so it's plus the wooden table, F4 multiplied by how many profits one wooden table can get is $20, it's in the I23. And also plus I4 multiplied by I24, and plus enter. I have put the equation in here so you can follow the equation as it is or you can try to uh, formulate the equation here. This is the equation that you get the profits from this table. Of course you can add this value to let's say I want to create 100 wooden table so change it to 100. You can see you need is 1013 kilogram of wood but in stock you have only 5 kilograms of wood. So this solution is not feasible. So 100 wooden table is not feasible. So I just put in one here. So how many glass table, wooden table, or console table I have to make in order to have the maximum profit, but the solution is feasible. What we need is called a solver add-in from the Excel. You go to the data tab, you may see a solver add-in here. But if you don't see a software act in here, you can add the software because the software by default is disabled. So how we can add this software? We go to the file and go to option. In the option, you go to add in tab. When you click on the add in tab, the manage add in tab, you have some option. The Excel add in, com add in, action, XML add in, and the disable item. So I check the Excel add in and click on go. When I click on go, I make sure that software exit is checked. So I check this software again and click OK. When you have done this, you can see in the data tab, you have a software here. Now I try to create a software to solve this equation. So I go to the cell. The cell I want to maximize is the cell in here is the I 28. I go to I28. This is what I want to maximize the profit. I click on the data tab and then sofa. In here, I have created the sofa for you, but you can click delete to delete all the constraints. And I will teach you how to create the constraint step by step. So I delete all the constraints and the solution of the solvers. When the first time you go into the sofa, what you see is that set the objective. Objective is what is the cell you want to maximize or minimize. So the objective cell is the I28 here. I click on the I28 and by changing the variable cell, the variable cell is the cell C4, F4, and the I4 because this is the how many glass table, wooden table, and console table you create. So the changing variable cell should be C4, and then comma, F4, and then comma, I4. This is three of the changing cell. When we change this value, the values of the I28 will be different.
And so what is the constraint of this? So the constraint is that this value here, 24, 25, this value in here should be less than the value in here. So you add in the constraint. So I add one constraint, click on the add, and I click on the cell reference. This cell L6 is less than or equal to 06 and press OK. So now I have the constraint. And also the constraint is L7 less than or equal to 07. So I add another constraint, L7 less than 07 and click add l8 less than 08 and add l9 less than 09 and add l10 less than 010 add l11 less than 011 and add finally l12 is less than 0 12 and click OK. So I have six constraints is that this value should be less than this value here is a constraint. And the other constraint is that this three value should be integer. If you just leave it, it's not integer. Okay, you just leave it there, it's not integers. What will happen? When you click solve, you can see that the solution is that you can make 44 glass table and 12.333 wooden table and zero console table. I have the maximum profit of 1556 because it's not an integer, so it's not feasible. So I click cancel, cancel it out. I go back to the solvers. I have to add some constraint of the integer here. So I add one more constraint. Is this C4 cell is equal to integer and f and then f4 cell is equal to integer and f and then i4 cell is equal to integer and f i get these three integer constraint of these three cell now i try to make the solver so i click it on solve so i get these values 1560 in here, I get the solution is 44, 12, and 0. I think there's something wrong in here. So I click OK and I check back the sofa. I can see there's the constraint here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, this constraint is something wrong. This is L12 is less than or equal to O12, not O13. So I click on delete delete this constraint and add one more news constraint is this 12 here should be less than or equal to this 12 here so i click add now i have fixed the problem here so i go back to solve the equation now i get the solution is 34 9 and 24 so i click ok this is the solution what i want if you want to have the maximum profits you have to create 34 class table nice wooden tables and 24 console table how about if i want to create 25 console table i can see here this one is greater than this one so this is not feasible i want to make the format to show me that if this value is greater than this value here it should be in green if equal this value here should be in blue and if the available value is less than the used value, it should be in red. So I want to change the conditional formatting of this seven cell here. So I check the first cell. I go to the home tab and click on conditional formatting. Click on the new rules here. I check the use formula to determine which cell to format. And I type in the formula. The formula is equal to L6 cells is less than O6. I make the background to green because it's a feasible formula. So I make the background to green and I click OK and apply. So I put it back to 24. I can see the cell is changed to green. 
I add one more condition if this two value is equal. So I add one new rule here. Use a formula to determine the cells. So it's equal to L6 equal to O6. And the format should be in blue. Click OK and apply. So if this two value is equal, it should be in blue color. And one more condition is that equal to L6 is greater than O6. Format and make it in red or in orange. Okay, OK and OK as well. If I change this value to 25 or 30, I can see the value up here is changed to red. That means it, this solution is not feasible because the labor hours needs is greater than the labor hours available. So I change this back to 24. This one should be in green. So I copy this one. I copy this format in down here. Copy this format down here. And down here. Down here. Down here. And here as well. So I got the value is in green and in blue. It's okay. The solution is feasible. If I make 20 wooden table here, the solution of this is not feasible because the color is in red. So this is how we put all the inequality and the equation into the Excel worksheet by doing this software equation. Now I try to put it back to one and solve the solution the second time. So I go back to data and click on solver and I click solve. I get the solution of here, 34, 9, and 24. And the maximum profit I get is $1,968. So in the next section, I will teach you if the company have this value here, the client needs how many glass table, wooden table, and console table, and how we can change the software to make the new solution. For this section, I stop it here. In this section, we try to solve the question number four. If the clients need at least three console tables, 20 wooden tables, and 10 glass tables, we have to regenerate the maximum profit to see if the solution is different from the last one. So we have to add a new constraints to the Excel worksheet and use the software to solve the linear equation system again. So we go back to the last section. This is the software worksheet we have created in the last session. So I right click the software worksheet and click on move or copy. I select the create a copy and click OK. Then I change the worksheet name to new constraint. Now so I type in the following text in these cells. In the cell J14 and K14, I merge it together using the merge and center. And in these three cells, I type in class table, wooden table, and console table, and put the 10, 20, and 3 here. The 10, 20, and 3 is the 10 class table, 20 wooden table, and 3 console table. Now I click on the data tab and click on sofa. I have to add three more constraints. If this constraint is that the class table, the C4 cell, have to be greater than or equal to 10. So I add one more constraint. Is that the C4 cell is greater than or equal to the K15 cell and add. One more constraint is the F4 cell is greater than or equal to the cell K16 and X. One more constraint is the I4 cell is greater than or equal to cell here. Then I click OK here. The three constraint is X in here. It's greater than, greater than, and greater than. And now I click on solve. The new solution for this linear system is 17 glass table, 20 wooden table, and 24 console table. And I click OK. And the maximum profit for this solution is 1,678, 
we compare with the solution of the last without these three constraints here. So I click on the solver again and then click solve. You can see in the last in the last linear system and the last constraint we have 1968 dollar in profits with 34 class table, nice wooden table and 24 console table. But with the three constraints added, we have only 17 class table, 20 wooden table, and 24 console table. And the maximum profit is only 1,678. So to here, I have teach you how to create a linear system from a business scenarios. And I hope you like this video. If you think this video is good for you, please subscribe to me and introduce other fans to watch my videos in Excel Expert. Thank you very much. Bye bye. 早晨，歡迎大家翻翻嚟我 Learn with Tom Lee 嘅教室。今堂我會教大家用 Excel 嘅 Solver 去 solve 一個 linear equation system。咩叫 linear equation system 呢？我哋可以睇睇以下嘅 business scenario， 一個真實嘅商業假設。如果有一間公司 DBC Furniture Companies Limited like to produce three types of table， 希望可以係做三種唔同嘅台，包括咗玻璃台、木台同埋一啲我哋叫 console table。呢間公司呢，就想 maximize 個 profit， 想希望呢做唔同嘅台啦，去令到賺嘅錢係會係最多嘅。但係佢有一啲 constraint 或者 limitation 啦，佢要 fulfill 嘅，包括咗材料啦、人工等等嘅。咁以下呢，就係佢個 limitation。如果我係做完之後呢，你會發覺一個 Excel 嘅 table 啦，就係類似咁樣嘅。當我哋喺個 Excel table 裏面撳 data 啦，然之後撳 solve 呢個 add in 啦，我哋就可以撳 solve。solve 咗之後呢，佢就會攞到個答案俾我哋。咁、那個答案呢，就係話佢最好呢，就 create 十七張嘅玻璃台啦，二十張嘅木台，同埋廿四張嘅 console table 所賺到嘅最高利潤啦，就會係一千六百七十八蚊嘅。咁我可唔可以話啊？我整多啲嘅台呢？如果譬如我整三十四張台呢嘅話呢，你會發覺啦，我哋就會個。labor 啦係唔夠嘅，因為我哋個 labor 啦只係得六百啦，需要六百二十四個 labor hours， 咁所以係超過咗，所以呢個係冇可能嘅。咁呢個我哋叫 invisible solution。我哋未開始之前啦，提醒大家啦，我將會用英文版同埋廣東話版去教學嘅。如果大家係想聽英文版嘅話，翻翻呢個 video 嘅零時零分零秒就可以㗎啦。好，我哋開始解構嘅問題，同埋開始點樣去解決。揾出個答案。我哋個 business scenario 即係一個商業嘅環境，就係咁嘅。The DBC Furniture Company Limited like to produce three types of table: the glass table, wooden table, and console table. It want to maximize the profit from the production. However, there are some condition or request limitation that have to be fulfilled before the production can be done. 一間叫 DBC 嘅傢俬公司啦。係希望做三款嘅台，包括玻璃台、木台同埋一啲 console table。佢希望咧可以喺呢三種嘅 product 裏面咧係賺到最多嘅錢，但係賺錢之餘，佢一定要有啲條件，一定要迎合嘅條件，包括以下：要做一張玻璃台嘅話，佢需要八個鐘頭嘅 labor hours， 需要八公斤嘅木。五公斤嘅玻璃同埋零公斤嘅鐵，需要五個鐘頭 wood preparing machine， 即係有一個 machine 啦，係幫我哋去處理嗰啲木嘅，佢需要五個鐘頭嗰個 machine 去處理玻璃嘅 machine 啦，佢需要五個鐘頭去處理鐵嘅 machine 啦，佢係唔需要嘅。每一張玻璃台嘅成本係三十蚊，價錢就六十蚊，即係個盈利會係三十蚊嘅。做一張木台，佢需要四個鐘頭嘅 labor hour， 十二個公斤嘅木啦。零公斤嘅玻璃同埋零公斤嘅铁，十二个钟头嘅制造木嘅机器啦，零个钟头同埋零个钟头制造铁同埋玻璃嘅机器嘅，每一张木台需要嘅成本系廿五蚊，价钱就系四十五蚊，即、就、系、是、每一张木台去赚到二十蚊嘅。
可以做一張 console table， 佢需要十二個鐘頭嘅 labor hours 啦，五公斤嘅木，兩公斤嘅玻璃，同埋四公斤嘅鐵，需要三點五個鐘頭去製木嘅機器，三點五鐘頭製造玻璃嘅機器，同埋五個鐘頭去製造鐵嘅機器。成本就係三十五蚊一張 console table， 價錢就六十七蚊，就係、是、每一張佢可以賺到三十二蚊嘅。跟住落嚟就有啲 constraint， 即係啲條件啦。條件包括啦，佢而家只係有六百個鐘頭嘅 l a b o r 嘅啫，五百公斤嘅木啦喺倉裏面，二百二十公斤嘅玻璃喺倉裏面，一百公斤嘅鐵喺倉裏面嘅，只係有六百小時嘅製木機器，七百小時嘅製玻璃機器，同埋二百小時嘅製鐵機器嘅啫，唔可以多過嘅。咁、这、呢個就係佢個 limitation， 即係個限制啦。而家我哋要解決嘅就係四個問題。第一 ，formulate a linear equation system for the above scenario。點樣去成立一個 linear equation system 啦？去解決以上嘅問題。跟住 set up the equation system into the Excel worksheet。然之後將呢個 linear equation 啦，係擺落一張 Excel worksheet 嘅 cell 裏邊啦。第三啦，就係、是、用 Excel 裏邊嘅 solver 係一個 add in 啦，去揾出。嗰、那個最高嘅利潤嘅幾多張木台、玻璃台或者鐵台先至可以有最高嘅利潤呢？第四 ，if the kind is at least three console table, twenty wooden table and ten glass table， 如果有個客係最需要，起碼你俾佢三張個 console table， 二十張個木台同埋十張個玻璃台，即個客嘅訂單係咁樣。我哋嘗試用個 Excel 啊，去 generate 另外一個 solution 啊。我哋睇一睇嗰個 maximum profit 嘅 solution 同上邊嗰啲啱唔啱啦？喺下一節我將會教大家點樣逐個 problem 啦去解決嘅。我哋而家嘗試根據上高嗰個條件啦 ，formulate 嗰個 linear equation system 嘅。We let GT be the numbers of glass table creators。我哋用 GT 代表咗我哋幾多張玻璃台，我哋製造啦。WT 代表咗我哋幾多張木台要製造啦，同埋 CT 代表咗幾多張 console table 要製造嘅。而 L 咧就係代表咗我哋需要幾多個 l a b o r hours 咯。G 咧係代表咗我哋需要幾多玻璃啦。W 代表咗我哋需要幾多公斤嘅木啦，同埋 I 咧係代表需要幾多公斤嘅鐵。而 GM 咧代表我哋需要幾多小時嘅 glass preparing machine 啦。WM 啦。代表需要幾多小時嘅 wooden preparing machine 啦，同埋 I M 啦，係代表需要幾多小時嘅 iron preparing machine。所以我哋就可以形成以下三條嘅 equation。如果我哋要製造一張嘅玻璃台 one G T 啦，我哋係需要八小時嘅 l a b o r 啦，八公斤嘅木啦，五公斤嘅玻璃啦，同埋零公斤嘅鐵嘅。五小時嘅 wood preparing machine 啦，五小時嘅 glass preparing machine 啦，同埋零小時嘅 iron preparing machine 嘅。製造一張木台，我哋需要四個 hours 個 l a b o r 啦，十二公斤嘅木啦，零公斤嘅玻璃，零公斤嘅鐵，十二個鐘頭嘅 wood preparing machine 啦，零個鐘同埋零個鐘嘅 glass preparing iron preparing machine 嘅。我哋製造一張 CT one console table 啦，係需要十二個 l a b o r hours 啦，五公斤嘅木啦，兩公斤嘅玻璃同埋四公斤嘅鐵嘅，三點五小時 preparing wood 嘅 machine 啦，三點五小時 preparing glass 嘅 machine 同埋五小時 preparing iron 嘅 machine。我哋形成咗以下三條嘅 equation， 跟住落嚟，我哋將呢三條嘅 equation 啦，再睇埋我哋嘅 limitation， 我哋嘅限制啦，去製造下低嘅不等式，有七條嘅不等式㗎。咁我點樣去做呢？首先啦，我係 l a b o r hours available 啦，係一共最多我哋可以有六百小時。嘅 l a b o r hour 可以用嘅啫，我哋叫佢做 L A。喺倉裏面有嘅木啦，係五百公斤啦，我哋叫佢做 W I S。喺倉裏面有個玻璃係二百二十公斤啦，我哋叫 G I S。同埋倉裏面嘅鐵啦，有一百公斤啦，我哋叫做 I I S。我哋只係有六百小時嘅 wood preparing machine， 我哋叫做 W A 啦。Glass preparing machine 我哋叫 G A 啦，最多係七百小時嘅啫。而 iron preparing machine 我哋叫做 I A 啦。最多呢就係
二百小時嘅啫。呢一度咧，我哋就可以形成嗰個 inequality 不等式啦。嗱，第一條嘅不等式點樣做呢？我教一教大家先。咁我哋需要係八個 l a b o r 嘅 hours 啦。點解係八個 l a b o r 嘅 hours 啦？大家如果睇返製造一張玻璃台啦，我哋係需要八 l a b o r 嘅 hours 嘅，而製造一張木台啦，我哋係需要有四小時嘅 hours 嘅，製造一張鐵台啦，我係需要有十二小時嘅 hours 嘅，所以呢，係將呢一個製造一玻璃台係成比八小時嘅 l a b o r 啦。木台咧係要成比四小時嘅 l a b o r 啦 ，console table 啦，即係鐵台啦，係要成比十二小時嘅 l a b o r 嘅，亦即係喺呢個表裏面，啊，右邊呢個表裏面啦，八、四同埋十二個 L 成比幾多張嘅玻璃台，幾多張嘅木台同埋幾多張嘅鐵台，就形成咗呢個數字加埋啦，一定要細個。等於六百，因為我哋只係得六百小時個 l a b o r hours 嘅。嗱，第二條嘅做法一樣啦，就我哋睇嘅呢，就係我哋需要嘅木，八公斤嘅木啦，十二公斤嘅木同埋五公斤嘅木。八公斤嘅木啦，係製造一張玻璃台啦，所以成比幾多張玻璃台呢？就係、是、幾個公斤嘅木。十二公斤嘅木啦，係製造一張嘅木台啦，所以係成比幾多張嘅木台啦，就係、是、等於我哋需要幾多公斤嘅木嘅。同埋製造一張嘅 console table 鐵台啦，我哋係需要啦，係五公斤嘅木嘅，呢度需要五公斤嘅木，所以呢，我哋係成比幾多張鐵台嘅。但呢個數字加埋一齊啦，一定要細過五百公斤。點解？因為我哋個木啦喺個倉裏面只係得五百公斤嘅，就形成咗第二條嘅不等式。一共咁做落去啦，一、二、三、四、五、六、七。一共係有七條嘅不等式，根據以上嘅做法噶。咁喺下一次啦，我哋就需要將呢七條嘅不等式啦，同埋上高呢三條嘅 equation 啦，係擺翻落個 Excel 嘅表裏面。咁下一次再教大家啦。好喺呢個 section， 我哋嘗試解決另外一個問題，就係、是、我哋將呢一個 inequality 啦，同埋呢個 equation 啦，係擺落個 Excel 嘅 worksheet 裏面。你可以開一個新嘅 Excel。file 去同我一齊做啦，或者你可以 download 我嗰個 file 啦，就叫做 maximumprofits-start.xlsx 啦，喺呢個 link 裏面 download 或者下低個 link 啦，我提供咗俾大家嘅。然之後咧，我哋就 set up 有關嘅 cells 啦，同埋 inequality 啦 ，equation 啦，落去個 Excel file 嗰度。咁我而家就開咗個 Excel 嘅 file 啦，就係 start.xlsx 嘅。呢度你見到 G T 啦，就係你 create 幾多張玻璃台啦 ，W T 就係幾多張嘅木台啦 ，C T 就係幾多張嘅 console table。嗱，假設我 create 一張嘅玻璃台、一張嘅木台同埋一張嘅 console table。如果我 create 一張嘅玻璃台，我需要幾多個 l a b o r hours 啦，幾多個木材啦，幾多個玻璃等等啦，啲資料我擺返晒入呢度。呢度呢個資料啦，其實就係頭先嗰個 file 嘅呢三個 equation 八。八五零五五零嘅，咁我就入翻呢幾個 value 落個 Excel 個 table 裏面啦。呢、这個咧就係八八五零，意思就係話我做一張嘅玻璃台啦，我要八小時嘅 l a b o r hours 啦，八公斤嘅木啦，五公斤嘅玻璃，零公斤嘅鐵，啊五個鐘頭嘅 wood preparing machine 啦，五個鐘頭嘅 gas preparing machine 啦，同埋零個鐘頭嘅。Iron preparing machine 嘅一張嘅木台啦，我需要嘅咧就係四十二零零十二零零嘅，咁所以啦，我係需要啦，係需要四小時嘅 l a b o r 啦，十二公斤嘅木啦，零公斤嘅玻璃，零公斤嘅鐵，十二小時嘅 wood preparing machine， 零小時嘅 glass preparing machine 同埋零小時嘅 iron preparing machine， 咁一張。console table 或者 iron table 啦，我需要嘅嘢啦，亦都係一樣啦，就係、是、下低呢條 equation， 亦即係十二五二四三點五三點五同埋五嘅，咁我就照入翻落去咯。嗱，跟住呢個係 l a b o r 嘅 hours 啦，我每一個 available 係幾多啦？咁我可以睇翻啦，頭先嘅 PowerPoint 裏面嘅呢一個啦，就係、是、我 l a b o r 嘅 available 啦。咁、那個 l a b o r hours 啦，最多係六百啦。啊，個木 in stock 啦，最多係五百公斤啦，等等，我入翻呢七個 value 啦，落呢一個位置嘅
，咁就係話六百小時啦，五百公斤啦，二二零啦，入曬啲資料落去先。咁跟住落嚟啦，就係呢一個每一張玻璃台我要賺幾多錢，咁我哋睇下每張玻璃台係個消費係幾多。我哋知道每張玻璃台咧，我哋係有三十蚊嘅 cost 嘅，即係個費用啦，啊廿五蚊。嘅費用係木台啦，同埋係三十五蚊嘅費用係製作一張鐵台嘅。咁賣出嚟嘅玻璃台啦，就係六十蚊一張啦，嘅四十五蚊一張嘅木台啦，同埋六十七蚊一張嘅、啊、console table 嘅。咁佢哋賺嘅錢係乜嘢啦？我哋就將呢個六十減三十啦，就係、是、每一張玻璃台賺嘅錢，所以我就係等於啦呢、這個六十呢個 sell 啦 ，G 十八啦，去減去俾呢一個嘅。啊 ，F 1 4撳 Enter， 咁呢個就係每張玻璃彩賺係三十蚊噶。我 drag 落嚟啦，我哋會計到每張木台同埋每張 control table 即係鐵台賺嘅錢啦，就係八十二蚊噶。咁最後咧就係、是、我哋總共賺咗幾多錢啦？就係、是、當你製造咗幾多張嘅玻璃台啦，你就乘俾三十啦，就係、是、玻璃台賺嘅錢。就係幾多張嘅木台乘比二十啦，就係、是、木台賺嘅錢。咁、那個總數我哋擺喺呢個位置，所以我打等於啦。幾多張嘅玻璃台，即係呢個 sell 啦，係 C 四啦，係乘比、啊、每一張玻璃台賺三十蚊嘅，再加俾幾多張嘅木台啦，係乘比啦。呢一個嘅、啊、I 廿三啦，就係、是、嗰、那個、啊、木台賺嘅錢啦。再加俾啦，係幾多張嘅 console table 啦。係成比啦，每張 console table 賺嘅錢啦，撳 enter 啦，就係八十二蚊。即係話，如果你製造一張嘅玻璃台、一張嘅木台同埋一張嘅 console table 啦，你總共係可以賺到八十二蚊嘅。當然你要賣曬啦。OK， 跟住我哋睇睇呢一七個 sell， 我哋入嘅係乜嘢啦？當我哋呢七個 sell 啦，我哋入啦，我哋總共需要幾多個 l a b o r hour 去做一張嘅玻璃台？一張嘅木台同埋一張嘅 console table 啊，咁呢個 function 呢個 value 啦，好明顯啦，就係等於啦呢一個啦，就係幾多張玻璃台啦，係成比啦，一張玻璃台需要八小時嘅 labour hours 啦，加俾一張嘅木台啦，成比啦，每一張木台需要四小時嘅 labour hours 啦，再加俾啦一張嘅 console table 啦，成比啦。每一張個 console table 需要十二小時嘅 labour hours 啦，撳 enter 啦，你就見到啦，係我哋需要廿四小時嘅 labour hour， 每一張嘅玻璃台、木台同埋 console table。如果喺呢個時候我哋 drag 呢個 cell 落去啦，你會見到啦，有啲奇怪嘅，一啲係突然間零啦，十七點五嘅，好非常之奇怪嘅。咁點解會咁樣啦？原因我哋呢個 formula 啦，係需要有啲 cell 係 absolute value 啦，我撳翻 F 二啦。嗱，我哋需要邊啲 cell 係 absolute value 啦？就係、是、C 4嗱 ，C 四就係玻璃台嘅數目，所以呢個係永遠都啱噶。就算你拉落下低嘅話，咁所以啦，我就撳 F 4啦，去 lock 住咗 C 4 f 4都係啦，同埋呢一個 I 4都係啦。所以呢個 formula 啦，呢三個 cell 咧應該就係 absolute value 啦。咁其他就冇轉啦。咁我撳 enter。嗱，我已經提供咗俾大家㗎啦，喺隔離呢一個。咁你可以跟返呢一個去打返落呢度，嗯，啊就可以 drag 呢個落去啦，就會好成功㗎啦。咁我哋又會睇到啦，個 value 係廿五個公斤嘅木啦，七公斤嘅玻璃同埋四公斤嘅鐵㗎，如此類推。咁、嗯、如果呢個 value 啦係大過六百嘅話啦，呢、這個 function 就係 invisible 啊。嗱，例如如果我將個啊 console table 教到去三百啦。你見到啦，係需要三千幾個 l a b o r hours 㗎，但我哋只係得六百個 l a b o r hours， 咁所以呢個 solution 啦，應該係 invisible 啦。我哋要 make sure 呢個 solution 啦，一定要細過後面呢個 value 啦。咁所以我 set 翻去做一先。咁究竟幾多先至係 feasible solution， 而下低呢個 value 個 profit 又係 maximum 嘅呢？咁我哋就要靠 Excel 裏面一個叫做 s o f t w a r e 嘅東西啦。如果你撳去 Data 嘅 Tab 啦，你應該見到有個 s o f t w a r e 嘅 Add In 啊，喺呢個位。如果你見唔到呢個 s o f t w a r e 嘅 Add In 啦，你要著翻去，因為預設啦係熄咗嘅。咁我而家撳翻個 File 啦，然之後我撳翻個、啊、Option 啦，喺個 Add In 嗰度啦，你會睇到下低有個 Manage 嘅 Excel Add In 啦。
click 落去啦，就會有 com add in 同埋其他 add in 㗎。咁 sofa 係 excel add in 嚟咯，跟住我就撳 go 咯。我見到呢一個嘅 sofa add in 咧係著咗啦，如果未著嘅話咧，你幫我著翻去，咁撳 OK 就 OK 啦。咁而家咧就可以啦，見到 data 裏面咧就會有個 sofa 啦。咁我點樣 create 個 sofa？ 嗱，我 sofa 嘅目的咧就係、是、希望呢個 profit 係 maximum， 所以我揀咗個 profit 啦，然之後我撳 sofa 啦。之前我加咗啲嘢啦，而家我將呢啲咧係拆曬佢先。預設咧，你入嚟 sofa 裏面啦，應該係唔會有任何嘅 constraint， 任何嘅條件噶。咁我拆曬佢啦，我就教你加翻呢啲嘅 constraint 同埋 condition 同埋個 solution 落去啦。呢啲我拆曬啦。你預設個 sofa 應該係咁樣嘅，乜都冇。呢、这個就係個 sofa 啦。咁喺呢個 sofa 裏面啦，你會睇到啦。首先係個 set objective 啦，我就 click 落個 set objective 呢度啦，我就 click 一 click 呢個 cell， 呢個 I 廿八嘅 cell， 因為 I 廿八係我要 maximum 嗰個 value 啦。咁我哋要做嘅嘢咧就係 to maximum 嘅 I 廿八噶。跟住 by changing 嘅 variable cell， 我哋去改變乜嘢啦？我哋又改變呢、这、一個。啊，幾多張玻璃台，幾多張木台，同埋幾多張 console table， 所以我 click 落去個呢個位置啦，就係、是、C 4啦 ，comma 啦，跟住就係、是啊、F 4啦 ，comma 啦，跟住就係 I 4啦，即係 C 4 F 4 I 4啦，呢三個 cell 啦係我要改變而從而令到個 I 廿八啦係最大位置噶。constraint 係什麼 ？constraint 就係我哋一定要 make sure 呢個 L 呢個 value 啦。呢、这個 value 啦，一定係細過呢一個 O 六呢個 value 啦。呢一個 L 七一定係細過 O 七嘅 value， 如此類推噶。咁所以喺呢度啦，我就 add 一個 constraint， 我就話俾你聽，呢、这個 value 啦係細過等於呢一個 value 啦。所以 L 六係細過等於 O 六噶。跟住我就撳 OK， 咁就加咗一個 constraint。當然呢六個 constraint 我都加埋落去先啦。我亦都係撳 add 啦。就係、是、呢個 value 啦，係細過呢個 value 啦。OK， 跟住撳 add 啦，繼續啦，係呢個 value 啦，係細過第三個 value 啦，八呢個，再撳落去啦。L 九啦，係細過 O 九噶。再 add 落去啦。L 十啦，係細過 O 十嘅。再 add 啦。L 十一啦，係細過 O 十一嘅。L 十二啦，係細過 O 十二，但如果我撳錯咗，細過 O 十三啦，你見到你又錯咗，我特登整錯佢啦，跟住我撳 Add 啦，就加咗落去啦。咁你見到咧，而家有七個條件，不過呢個係錯咗啊。咁中間我要解決呢一個問題，我暫時當我唔知道佢有冇錯到，我試下 solve 啦。當我 solve 嘅時候啦，我見到佢俾到個 solution 我，不過有一個問題，問題就係呢一度啦。問題呢一度咧，你見到咧就係嗰個 number of wooden table 啦，可以叫我製造十二點三三張木台噶。咁因為呢個冇可能係一個點數嚟噶，幾多張台冇可能係點數，所以咧我發覺有一啲 constraint， 我一定要話俾佢聽，就呢、是、三個 value 一定要係整數噶。咁所以我撳咗 cancel 先。OK， 我翻翻個 sofa 嗰度啦。我處理嘅咧就係我要話俾佢聽加多個 constraint 啦，而呢個 constraint 啦就係呢個 cell 啦，一定要係整數噶，叫 integer 就係整數啦。跟住 add 啦，第二個 cell 啦一定要係整數啦 ，add 啦，第三個 cell 啦一定要係整數噶，跟住撳 add， 然之後加咗落去呢三個嘅 integer 啦，我都加咗落嚟啦，我再去 solve 啦。Okay, 我係睇到啦，佢仍然出到啦，係幾多張嘅木台，幾多張嘅玻璃台。不過我發覺都有啲問題，原因喺邊度咧？原因就係冇理由我唔製造 console table 嘅，因為 console table 應該係賺得最多。點解我唔製造呢、嗯？原因就係可能我個 constraint 呢度有啲錯啦。咁我而家咧就撳交叉啦，入翻個 s o f a 裏面。我望清楚個 constraint， 我發覺呢個係錯咗啦。咁呢個 constraint 係錯咗嘅時候啦，所以啦我就要。delete 咗個 constraint， 再加多個啦，咁我就撳 delete 啦 ，delete 咗呢個 constraint 啊，再加翻個 constraint 啦，嗰、那個 constraint 就係 L 十二啦，係細個
O 十二啊，今次唔係 O 十三啦，跟住撳 OK， 咁就加咗落去，然之後 solve 噶，俾咗出嚟嘅答案啦，就會係三十四張嘅玻璃台、九張嘅木台同埋廿四張嘅啊 console table， 我嘅最高利潤啦。就係一千九百六十八噶，呢、这個睇起上嚟正確好多噶。我撳 OK 去 save 低呢一個嘅答案啦。咁呢個咧就係我哋叫做 s o f a maximum 一個 linear equation system 啦。咁喺下一節啦，我將會教大家啦，係去做另外一樣嘢啦，就係第四嘅呢樣嘢啦，呢個 section 啦，就係當。嗰、那個 user 啦，係要求有三張 console table 啦，最少嚇有二十張嘅 wooden table 啦，同埋有十張嘅玻璃台。咁又今次唔係嘅，今次咧就係冇二十張嘅木台啊，冇十張嘅木台，二十張嘅玻璃台啊。咁有啲條件咧係唔符合嘅。咁下一次我會 set set 去加多啲條件落去，睇下個 s o l u t i o n 會唔會係一樣嘅啦。好喺呢個 section 啦，我會教大家啦，係解決第四個問題。咁呢個問題就係話 ，if the client needs at least three console table, twenty wooden tables, and ten glass table, regenerate the maximum profit to see if the solution is different。如果有個客係要求最少你要提供三張嘅 console table 啦，二十張嘅 wooden table 啦，同埋十張嘅 glass table， 我哋就需要用翻頭先嗰個 sofa 啦。加多呢三個 constraint， 然之後試下 generate 嗰個最高 profit， 睇下幾多錢。So we have to add the new constraint to the Excel worksheet and solve the linear equation system again。所以我哋就要加多三個 constraint， 然之後試下再 solve 嗰個 equation， 睇下出嚟嗰個 solution 會係點樣。我哋翻翻個 Excel 嗰度啦。但我未開始之前啦，我就將會講多一樣嘢，我哋叫 conditional formatting。嗱，我希望咧，如果你出嚟嗰個 solution 啦，係超越咗嗰個限制，譬如個 l a b o r hour 係六百，但係你整四十五張 console table 嘅話你需要個 l a b o r hour 係八百四十八，呢一個咧就會超出咗個範圍，我哋叫做 i n f e a s i b l e solution。喺 i n f e a s i b l e solution 嘅情況下，我希望咧，就呢個 cell 咧就會係紅色底色嘅。如果係低過呢一個嘅時候啦，佢會係綠色嘅底色；如果係等於啦，佢會係藍色嘅底色。我哋睇睇點樣做嗰個 solution。咁我而家 set 翻呢個做廿四先。嗱，跟住我揀呢個 cell 之後啦，即係 O 六呢個 cell 啦，我就 click on 個 conditional formatting， 然之後撳一個叫做 new rule。喺個 new rules 嗰度啦。我就揀 use a formula to determine which cell to format。而個 formula 啦，我就打等於 L 六啦，係細過 O 六啦，即係 L 六呢個 cell 啦，係細過 O 六呢個 cell 嘅時候啦，我 set 個 format 啦，就做綠色嘅底色嘅 ，click OK， 然之後再撳 OK 啦。喺呢一度啦，你見到呢個係綠色嘅底色，因為五九六係細過。呢、这個六百嘅，跟住我再加多一個嘅 new rules 啦。呢個 new rule 就係話 use a formula to determine which cells to format 啦。今次我打等於啦 ，L 六啦，係等於呢個 O 六。咁個 format 啦，我就 set 到做藍色嘅底色嘅。即係如果呢兩個相等嘅話，佢係藍色啦。跟住我撳 OK 啦。咁而家你見到唔係藍色，因為係細個嘅。跟住我再加多一個 rules 啦 ，new rules 啦。今次嘅 new rules 啊，亦都係用翻 use a formula to determine which cell to format。我就打等於啦 ，L 六啦，係大過呢一個 O 六嘅。我 set 個 format 個底色做紅色或者橙色嘅，跟住我撳 OK， 然之後再 OK。而家你會睇到呢一個係六百，會係大過呢個五九六，所以係綠色嘅底色，即係一個 feasible solution。喺呢個時候啦，我將呢個 format 啦。係 copy 落去，下低呢一度啦，呢一度，呢一度，呢一度，呢度，同埋呢一個位置噶。copy 咗之後，你會睇到啦，呢、这個位係藍色嘅底色，因為啱啱好係五百噶。如果我係夾硬要做三十張嘅 console table 啦，跟住撳 enter 啦，你會見到呢啲全部紅色噶，因為 console table 啦，無論係 l a b o r 啦、use of wood、glass 或者 iron 都超出咗。呢、这個範圍，因為多過呢個範圍，所以呢個 solution 係 invisible。只要你見到呢度紅色咧，就 invisible 噶。
。咁而家呢，我去返個 sofa 嗰度啦，我再做多一次嘅 sofing 啦，佢應該呢就變返係藍色嘅，因為呢個係三十四、九同埋廿四所有嘢都用低過個要求，但呢一個啱啱好係用晒五百。公斤嘅木材咯，而家我要做嘅呢，就係根據返頭先第四條呢一個啦，個客係要求最少三個 console table、十個 glass table 同埋二十個 wooden table。咁我要喺個 Excel 度，我要做啲乜嘢啦？我就 right click 呢個 the s o f t w a r e 呢張紙啦，我就加多張紙嘅 move or copy 啦，跟住著咗個 create a copy 啦，然之後撳 OK 噶，將個名啦係改咗去叫做 new constraint 咯。咁喺呢個 new constraint 呢張紙裏面啦，呢幾個 cell 啦，我就加以下嘅字眼落呢幾個 cell 裏面啦，同埋個數字。喺呢個 cell J 1 4同埋 K 1 4呢個 cell 啦，我就加咗 k i n e s t at least 啦，呢個係 class table、wooden table 同埋 console table。class table 佢最少要有十張啦 ，wooden table 最少有二十張啦。而呢一個嘅 console table 最少有三張㗎，咁而家當然個 solution 係唔啱㗎，因為呢度得九張就冇二十張個 wooden table， 我要加多三個 constraint 落個 s o f t w a r e 嗰度，咁我而家又撳 data 啦，然之後撳 s o f t w a r e 啦，咁喺個 s o f t w a r e 裏面啦，我就 add 個 constraint 㗎，咁我撳一撳個 add 掣啦，個 constraint 就係呢個 cell， 即係 GT 啦。一定要大過或者等於，今次係大過或者等於咯，就係呢一個 cell， 即係 class table 嘅 minimum requirement 噶。咁我撳 add 啦，然之後呢個 cell 啦 ，wooden table 啦，一定要係大過或者係等於呢個 cell， 即係 wooden table 嘅 minimum requirement 噶。跟住再撳 add 啦，然之後呢一個 console table 啦，一定要大過或者係等於 console table 嘅 minimum requirement， 即係三噶。跟住撳 OK。加咗呢三個 constraint 之後啦，我就撳返 solve 啦，我就 solve 呢個 equation 啦。咁 solve 咗之後啦，你會見到啦，嗰、那個 value 將會係十七、二十同埋廿四噶，而個 maximum profit 只係一千六百七十八。嗱，之前嗰呢一張紙嘅 maximum profit 啦，就會係一千九百六十八噶，因為冇呢三個 constraint 嚇，咁就係三十四張 class table 啦，九張嘅 wood table 啦，同埋。廿四張嘅 console table， 今次嘅答案啦係唔同啦，十七、廿二十同埋廿四張嘅 console table 啊，出嚟啊，呢啲全部都係綠色啊，全部都用唔曬所有嘅料啦，咁呢個亦都係 feasible solution 啊。OK， 咁今個課堂啦，我就教到呢一度，咁希望大家咧就明白點樣利用 Excel 嘅 sofa 啦。去處理呢啲 business 嘅 problem， 點樣去 gen 呢啲 linear equation 同埋 inequality 啦。如果大家覺得我呢個 video 係好嘅話咧，咁大家不妨係俾多啲 like 我啦 ，subscribe 去我呢個 channel， 同埋介紹多啲朋友睇我個 Excel 嘅 channel。咁我暫時 Excel 嘅 channel 啦，就係有呢個 video 啦，同埋之前嗰個 dashboard 嘅 video 啦。咁希望大家中意 ，thank you， 拜拜。Okay, if you think this video is good and can help you, please subscribe and give like. So you press the button at the lower right corner to subscribe and give like to me. And remember, when I have a new videos, you better click the bell shaft and see the new video. Thank you. Finally, muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutors for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination or just, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk and the WhatsApp of my telephone number is plus one eight five two. 6592-8609 Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to improve your mathematics and your English, you want to be a private tutor, you can contact me to make your DSE exam or if you want to take the SAT, you can contact me too. Because I also have a lot of people who are involved in these two areas. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you very much.